Hi, uh, my name is Natraz, working for Naresh Technologies. Um, in this video, I am going to talk about an introduction to Sarlet that speaks about what is need of Sarlet and uh, what kind of setup is required to develop uh, Java based web application or generic web application. So, let us try to understand. First, let us try to understand need of web applications. Need of web application. The application that is specific to one computer is called as standalone application. Stand alone, stands single, that is why standalone application. The data and logics of that application is specific to one computer where it is executing. That means, standalone application contains some data and logics and that data and logics are specific to one computer where it is actually executing. If you, you want to overcome that problem, then you may think about going for two tier applications. Client will be there, server will be there, client talks with the server or client is a Java application, server is a database software. In this example, in this environment, the data and logics of server application is visible and accessible to client applications, visible and accessible to client application, but visible and accessible to those client application that are talking to what server. If you look at this setup properly, one server application or one server software like database software for this server application or server software, multiple clients will be there and these clients will talk to what? Server or server soft software over the network. So, the data and logics of what? Server software or server application are visible in the multiple applications, I mean to say client application that are talking to server software or server application. If you observe very carefully, here data and logics are specific to one local area network because here a client application will take the support of a local area network to talk to what? Server application or what? Server software. If I summarize something like this, in standalone application, data and logics are specific to one computer where application is executed. In two tier application, data and logics of server application or server software are visible in multiple clients of a local area network, something like this. Let me put the same discussion in the form of what diagram. Let me put same discussion in the form of diagram. Let us feel this is my machine one. This is my standalone application. machine 1, this is application 1, which is standalone. The data and logics of this application are specific to what? This particular computer where application is executing. Let me give an example of machine 1, two tier application, machine 2, machine 3. Here we have on one, one more machine. Okay. So, let me mark them as machine 1, machine 2, machine 3. This is my machine 10. So, here is one server application. Here is lot of clients application. lot of client applications. So, I will talk this one as server software or server application. This is client application 1. Client application 2. 
this is client application 3. So, all these client application will talk to server applications. Fine. If you observe this diagram setup, the data and logics that are there in what server application or server software like database software can be used in all these things. And all these clients are uh, talking to server application or server software using network. So, generally this network will be what local area network. All our JDBC applications are the best example for it. Our Java applications are client, database software is a server software. All Java application with the JDBC could happily talk with what database software and can use the data that is there in database software. Or um, networking based client server application, client is a Java application, server is a Java application. The data logics that are there in what server application can be used by what multiple client application. All these are the examples for two tier applications. So, that means this comes under standalone setup, this comes under two tier setup. But I want to see my data and logics of my application more globally visible, more globally accessible. And that time LAN is not enough, we have to seriously think about wide area network something like internet wide area network something like what internet. Um, the problem is we cannot make standalone application to tier application running on the internet. To make our applications running in the internet environment we need to design our applications as a special applications and those are nothing but web application also called as websites. Let me repeat. Standalone application, two tier application cannot be executed in the internet. Due to this, we cannot make data and logics as globally accessible data and logics. So, for that purpose, we have to design special application which can run in what? Internet environment, nothing but wide area network. So, they are nothing but so web application also called as what? Websites. So, why internet is also called as a web? Very simple, network of network is called internet. Small network will be there that will connect to another network, that will connect to another network. L like that it looks like a global network, also called as wide area network. The web formed by a creature called spider, a web formed by creature called spider, it also looks like internet. It also looks like a internet. How it will be? Uh, I am talking about spider's web. Seriously, I am talking about what? Spider's web. It basically looks like this. One small circle will be there connecting to on the surrounding that one more circle, surrounding that one more circle, surrounding that what? One more circle and uh, all these will have connected with the outer circles like this. Basically, spider's web looks like this. If you look at internet network also, like we get the same feeling, one small network talking to another network, that network talking to another network. So, that is why people call internet network as what? Web. Since applications are running web, that is why they are called web application. And web applications are also called as what? Websites. So, whenever you want to provide global visibility and accessibility to logics, 24 by 7 accessibility to logics and you want to allow both known and unknown clients okay, coming and accessing data and logics, you have to keep those data and logics in a web application because only web application can run in the internet environment. Sir, what are the technologies that are there in the market to develop this web application? Right now, three dominant technologies are there to develop web applications in the internet. A, Java. 
नंबर टू डॉट नेट नंबर थ्री पी एच पी एस्पेशली जावा मीन्स वी जनरली गो फॉर वाट सार्लेट एंड जे एस पीस डॉट नेट मेनली एस पी डॉट नेट बट नव इट इज देर इवन टॉकिंग अबाउट एस पी डॉट नेट एम बी सी का एंड ऑफ थिंग पी एच पी या पर्सनल होम पेज फॉर हाइपर टेक्स्ट प्रोसेसिंग पर्सनल होम पेज फॉर हाइपर टेक्स्ट प्रोसेसिंग रिसेंटली दे हैव इवन चेंज द एब्रिवेशन पर्सनल होम पेज फॉर हाइपर टेक्स्ट प्री प्रोसेसिंग ओके प्री प्रोसेसिंग सो जनरली एवरी वन गिवस रॉन्ग एब्रिवेशन फॉर पी एच पी पी एच पी पर्सनल होम पेज दे थिंक दैट एब्रिवेशन इज ओवर बट एक्चुअली नॉट इट इज पर्सनल होम पेज फॉर हाइपर टेक्स्ट लास्टली प्रोसेसिंग और रिसेंटली पीपल इवन स्टार्टेड कॉलिंग इट एज हाइपर टेक्स्ट प्री प्रोसेस हाइपर टेक्स्ट प्री प्रोसेस सो दट्स फाइन बट वेन दीज मेनी आर देर वेन टू यूज विच वन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डेवलप स्मॉल स्केल वेबसाइट स्मॉल स्केल मैक्सिम ऑफ टेन पेजेस मोर स्टैटिक कंटेंट लेस डायनेमिक कंटेंट गो फॉर पी एच पी If you observe uh, small small websites that are there for uh, restaurants, new movie releases, any new product launch. Uh, for example, you take Maruti Suzuki company. Whenever they launch a new model car, they will release one website. So they will won't maintain for long time. Once model is clicked, okay, fine. They will stop maintaining that. If model is not clicked, they will uh, utilize that space, that um, space for other purpose. So in they generally go for what php for small scale website php medium scale website little bit complex some dynamic content is there but we need faster development even though performance is not that much important security is what not that much important yes then we go for dot net kind of thing but development is very faster even in php dot net definitely development is very faster when it comes to java we develop large scale complex high end web applications using java high end web applications using what java something like banking websites security is most important performance is most important e-commerce websites flipkart.com amazon.in this kind of website definitely will be there in java why because performance is most important security is most important and moreover it's a large scale application and more dynamic content yes using java definitely development time is little bit extra no doubt in that but benefits also equally same so that's why my final conclusion is java for large scale websites dot net for medium scale website php for what small scale website but from last 3 4 years this trend is changing little bit this trend is changing little bit because of two JavaScript toolkits that have come to the market. One is jQuery, other one is what Angular JS. When people started using jQuery and Angular JS, okay, development time is drastically reducing. Why? Well, because it comes with a lot of things. It comes with AJAX support. It comes with a lot of built-in GUI components, a number of things. Due to this, people started using as just uh, that's what. or ja angular js or jquery with java due to this java web application development time is drastically reduced and more importantly this jquery and angular js can be used in php dot net even in what java people started using with uh, uh, angular what is that java especially that angular js and what jquery due to this development time is drastically reducing that's why from last 3 4 years industry is preferring to use java even for what medium scale and what uh, small scale projects reason is java is open source java by products maximum are open source like uh, web servers Uh, like uh, application server jdbc driver they are open source and anyhow jquery and angular js also open source 
So instead of putting money for a .NET kind of commercial software, the industry is seriously thinking about using what jQuery and Angular JS along with what Java to even develop medium scale and what uh, small scale website. That's the reason number of projects in Java, especially in web development, are increasing day to day. The earlier market occupancy ratio is something like this: .NET PHP together 50% of the web application development. But when it comes to Java, another 50 percent. But after arrival of jQuery and Angular JS, surprisingly, uh, people are using uh, to develop 70 percent of web applications by using Java. Only 30 percent of web application development is happening through what? .NET and PHP. You may ask me, um, sir, if you go to internet. Um, most of the websites are there in what PHP or .NET and we hardly find Java kind of websites, right? Uh, yes, from the beginning you know that uh, like uh, PHP is known for small scale web application development and still uh, like uh, count wise PHP websites are more in the internet but they are very small. Uh, but size of each website, volume of each website wise Java web applications are always bigger than what? PHP and .NET website. So, if I take some names for uh, Java websites, Flipkart.com, Amazon.in, ICICBank.com, all these are seriously developed in what? Java environment. So, let us move to what is web application? Let us try to understand what is web application. A web application is a collection of web components that are capable of generating web pages. That are capable of generating web pages. Every web application contains lot of web components and these web components are capable of generating web pages. Right. What is the difference between normal page and web page? Normal page contains normal text web page contains hypertext and this hypertext comes because of html you know that what is the difference between normal page and what web page normal page contains normal text in the normal text non sequential navigation is not possible because there are no hyperlinks you take uh, 20 paragraphs in notepad if you want to go to 20th paragraph from first paragraph you must scroll through remaining 19 paragraphs definitely you cannot directly jump to 20th paragraph but you take a web page in first paragraph you can create one hyperlink you click on hyperlink it will take you to what 20th paragraph yes your work is done not only that from first page you can go to last page from last page you can come to 10th page because of what hyperlinks so, the text that is having hyperlinks is called as what? Hypertext. And hypertext based web pages are called what? Pages are called what? Web pages. And normal text based pages are called normal pages. Alright? So, web components are not there to generate normal pages. Web components are there to generate web pages. There are two types of web pages here. So, I am doing this categorization based on the kind of content they generate based on the kind of content they generate number one static web pages these are also called as passive number two dynamic web pages also called as active web pages static web pages you give thousand request to request means asking for something from any resource is called request response means after processing request whatever output is that generated that is called what response i asked for x item requesting item X item is delivered, response is delivered. Sometime item is not available, some error message will come. Right? Okay. So, what is static web page? 
if i give 1000 requests to or any number of requests to that web page content of the web page will not change it remains same static passive that means um, you give any number of requests any time from any location no problem happily it will give the same content such web pages are called static web pages best example about us page in any website if you go to about us hyperlink in narayshit.com uh, definitely what you will have a lot of static content it will not change you give thousand requests to that website it will not change because it contains address phone numbers which will which remains permanently same uh, next uh, contact us about us terms and conditions web page so definitely all these are called as what static web pages if the content of the web page is changing either based on the input values of the request or based on the time of request generation then it is called as dynamic web page for example um, you take inbox page of gmail if i submit my username and my password i will get my inbox content if i submit some other person username and password okay you will get inbox content of other person that means here content of the inbox page is changing based on the input values of the request sometimes content of the inbox will change based on the time of the request also you already logged in new mail has come so definitely what happened it reflects in the web page or let me put one more example you are having uh, web website showing uh, stock market share values something like sharecon.com something like sharecon.com so morning hours it will show some uh, prices for shares as the time passes at 11 o'clock 12 o'clock when you figure request definitely it will show other prices for the same shares that means your content of the web page is changing based on what time of request generation so such pages are called what dynamic web pages a website is called good website okay a website is called what good website if it is having more dynamic web pages less static web pages so generally php is known to create more static web pages and less dynamic web pages dot net and java is generally used to create website that contains what more dynamic web pages less number of what static web pages right so i said one more thing web application is a collection of web components that are capable of generating web pages based on the kind of web page they generate based on the kind of web page they generate okay there are two types of web components there are two types of web components static web components when we give request to these web components they generate static web pages what they do generate static dynamic web components servlet jsp php asp.net all these components are called dynamic web components what here dynamic web components so all these are components here html here let me put html files html files comes under static web components servlet so jsp php asp.net all these comes under dynamic web components 
overall a web application is collection of both static web component generating static web pages dynamic web component generating what dynamic web pages right but let me give more clarity if it is java based website what here java based website static web components are html files dynamic web components are serlet jsp components if it is a dot net web based website static web components are html dynamic web components are asp dot net programs or components if it is a php website static web components are hmm, static web components are html file and a dynamic web components are PHP programs or PHP components, but all these web application also contain some supporting web components like images, audio files, video files, .css, JavaScript files. Okay, these components cannot generate web pages directly, but they help other main web components towards generating web pages. For example, you take image file. Image file cannot generate any web page, but uh, when image is required mm, in a static web page or a dynamic web page, yes, it will help them to generate content having image, a CSS file. So it cannot generate web page on its own, but when we want to format the content of static web page or dynamic web page, we take the support of .css file. Similarly, JavaScript you want to perform form validations or you want to do something else on the web pages okay then we take the support of javascript they cannot generate web pages on their own but they act as a helper components towards generating what static or dynamic web pages that's why typically we can see like this If you take, it is a Java web application. Let us assume this is my Java web application. Here lot of components will be there. Serlet component, Serlet component, JSP component, HTML file, audio file and video file. So let us see, here I am taking Servlet. Here I am taking JSP. Here I am taking JSP component. Here I am taking HTML file. Here is what image file. Let us feel this is audio file. This is basically what here Java web application. Similarly, here we have .NET web application, here we have PHP web application. Yes, here we will be having a lot of PHP components. HTML file, this is image file, this is JavaScript file, this is what PHP web application. Next, this is .NET web application. Nice. What is this? ASP.NET, HTML file, JavaScript, many other things. ASP.NET component. HTML file.
इमेज फाइल ऑडियो फाइल यस सो दिस इज टिपिकल जावा एप्लीकेशन वेर सार्लेट जे एस पी कॉम्पोनेंट आर देर जनरेटिंग डायनेमिक वेब पेजेस एच टी एम एल इज देर जनरेटिंग वाट स्टैटिक वेब पेजेस एंड रिमाइनिंग ऑडियो फाइल्स वीडियो फाइल इमेज फाइल जो स्क्रिप्ट आर वन हेल्पर वेब कॉम्पोनेंट्स ये टिपिकल वेब पी एच पी वेब एप्लीकेशन पी एच पी कॉम्पोनेंट जनरेट डायनेमिक वेब पेजेस एंड एच टी एम एल एज यूजली जनरेट स्टैटिक वेब पेजेस ईर आलो रिमाइनिंग कॉम्पोनेंट्स एक्ट एज वाट हेल्पर कॉम्पोनेंट्स That means if you observe very carefully, helper components and uh, HTML files are common in any technology-based website development. Only which components are changing here? The component generating dynamic web pages is changing technology to technology. In Java, they are Sarlet JSP. In PHP, they are PHP component. In .NET, they are ASP .NET components. right so that means we need sarlet jsp to develop the web application especially to develop what dynamic web pages of what web application dynamic web web pages of java web application right this is an introduction to web application and its uh, related discussions i hope you got benefited with this video uh, you can catch me for more videos in this particular channel thank you